Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Super Terby Coon Cross Kamen Rider Geo and Build magazine. This is a giant magazine dedicated to Kamen Rider and as you can see it comes with the Super Terby Coon Premium Box. This is the Kamen Rider full bottle. So previously we took a look at the Sentai full bottle. This is the Kamen Rider full bottle that is meant to pair with it. Now, technically, we can get the sounds out of using this one, the Rider System bottle. Uh, we'll take a look, but the pins should be the same. But this one uh, has all four of the Riders from Build. So you have Build, Cross, Z, Grease, and Rogue. So very cool there. I think you also get a Boot of a Soul medal and a Gomberizing card, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty cool little box here. Assembly instructions on the back. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's take a quick look at the magazine. As you can see, a lot of cool stuff on the front. If we open it up, you get a nice picture of Geo on this side with, I guess, is it Gates? Gates? Are we still saying Gates? I'm not sure. In any case, <laughs> here is the Cross Z build form from the movie. I think this is the villain he fights in the movie. I have not seen the movie yet. I think this is some stuff from the movie here. Here's the cam, which is a premium Bandai exclusive. Here is some Geo stuff. You can see the build armor down here. Looks like Kuga down there and Ryuki. And I think Blade in the background. There's Hibiki. x Fies. And a lot more Geo. And then here's a ton of riot watches. I do think it's cool that they're not just focusing on like from double forward. Because we had Decade which took from Kuga through Decade. But Geo is going to do literally everything Heisei which I think is very cool. Because they could have very easily just said well we already did a, everything else with Decade so we'll just start a double. But no way man they're going all the way back. And I think that's really cool. One day they'll have to do Showa as well and just have a massive anniversary season. But for now, here is the ghost form with the two giant icon shoulders for Gates. I think that's hilarious. And then here's Gates doing a giant kick. Here is some more build stuff. Some cool photos. Pretty cool. I don't know if these are... I don't think they'd be spoilers for the last episode. Considering when this came out. But pretty close to the end. And then here are all the lost bottles. In the fancy black and gold. That will be for that premium Bandai set. Here are some more Geo stuff. Boot of a Soul medals. And then we got some Soto figures. That's right, Soto's making an appearance. So down here it advertises, I think this is set 12, and then the special enemies set. So pretty cool. So that's it for the magazine. Let's go ahead and get to the premium box. Alright, so here is the premium box. Let's go ahead and cut this open. And then open the box to see what's inside. Alright, so first up, here is the uh, Gomberizing card. Cross Z build form. Ooh, look how sparkly it is. That's fun. Ooh. It says Tadabi Kuhn there on the side. So very cool. I like this. I like this card. Put that off to the side. Let's see what else we've got. Now I don't see... Oh, I missed it. It's taped to the side. So here is the uh, Gun Barizing Metal. Also very sparkly. 
Let's go ahead and cut this out of here. Oops, there he goes. So these things always look like yokai watch medals to me. <laughs> With the back anyway. There's a QR code there on the back. And then here is a super sparkly cliffhanging bootabasol medal. So these do something. I guess I think there's an arcade game that uses these. I've never really been quite sure what these do, but it's neat. Pretty cool. Put this back in here. Close this up if we can. Putting all of that aside, we have the pieces of our bottle. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I will build this for you guys right here. So I'm not going to pay attention to the instructions. Apparently the instructions jump ship on me. I like how they give you these little plastic pieces now so that you can get that rattle sound inside. I like that. I wish it was, you know, not just half of it. I wish it was a full 360, but what are you going to do? All right, put all that off to the side. Here is our Sentai Kamen Rider sticker. So let's peel this off and grab our bottle here. There you go. That is quality sticker placement. Woohoo! Alright, just make sure all the edges are down. We're good. That sucker is on there. Alright, so now we're going to take the back part of the bottle, which is number 119. I'm going to put this in here like this. And then I guess you put this in here. And then you just snap it on. I guess I should put this piece like this. And then snap this on. There we go. Oh no, what did I do? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Well, this part spins. Why doesn't this shake? All right, sorry, technical difficulties. We'll be right back. Okay, everything's back to normal. The piece inside wasn't aligned correctly, so it wasn't uh, able to close all the way. So luckily, because of that, I was able to pop it open pretty easily, and now it's all back to normal. So let's take a look at this beautiful bottle. As you can see here, you got Build, Cross Z, Grease, and Rogue all molded nicely in there. Sentai Kamen Rider, this spins around. It is number 119. Let's bring the Sentai bottle back in with the Lupin Ranger vs. Path Ranger heads. And you can see that's number 86, so quite a jump there. <laughs> the other thing I want to check out is if I bring in the Rider System bottle, you can see that it's got the exact same rail system and they're both number 119. So technically, you don't need this bottle. If you have this one, you can get the sounds out of it. So you've already seen the sounds. When I did review the Sentai bottle, you're going to get the same sounds with this pairing. But I'm still going to do them, at least just for the build driver, just because I think it's fun. But it, it won't be any sounds you haven't heard already. And then once again, real quick, here is the super sparkly Gamba Rising card you get. And here is the super sparkly <laughs> boot of a soul metal. So, very neat. I did not know that those other two things, I mostly just bought the magazine for the bottle. I didn't even know you got those other two things, so very cool. So, a very cool pairing. I like having these together, and I'm going to enjoy displaying them together. But let's go ahead and...
So there you go, superhero time. So it's a standard Vortec finish. Nothing really exciting there, but I like them. I like having both of these. I think red and blue are great colors to go together. And the helmets molded in. I think they did a really nice job with these. Uh, and just because we can. It doesn't know what to do. So nothing exciting. It just does it like it's any two bottles that don't match. But technically you can have two common rider bottles now. So I think it's a nice little set here. The magazine says it's 1400 yen if I remember correctly. Amazon Japan had it for slightly cheaper than that. So maybe 12 or 13. That was before shipping of course. But even at 1400 yen it's about $14. You're getting the magazine, the bottle, the metal, and the card. I don't think it's a bad set. Now, if you're someone who really doesn't care about the magazine at all, you know, I can understand how you're thinking to yourself, well, $14 for this bottle really isn't worth it. And I can completely understand that, especially when it is possible to already get the sounds if you have the Rider System bottle from the Evil Driver. Uh, this bottle is really not necessary, but I think it's a pretty cool little designed bottle. I like having all four of the Rider's helmets on there. I think the red goes really well when paired with the... Uh, the red and the blue go really well together for this color combination, so I think it's fun. Personally, it's worth it to me. I think it's a nice little set, but your mileage is going to vary. You're really going to have to decide if it's worth it to you. I was already buying a big box of stuff from Amazon Japan, so to toss this in, I essentially paid no shipping for this item. So if you're buying it by itself and you had to pay you know, almost the same amount it's worth in shipping, I could definitely understand how you'd pass on this, but again... It's really just up to you how much you want this stuff. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.